you want you okay <laughs> do I look okay <laughs> no you look awful Ugh. awful look at me useless I wasn't born to this I didn't deserve this I used to be a gentleman Jeremiah Compson Compson stead good for you that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a North of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Don't look quite right. Don't it. Don't it. Don't I ain't never gonna get the hang of this. This man, he understands. Dad don't care if it's pretty, right? Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't, I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, 
Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> Okay, you head on in the church. I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long past <sighs> prudishness. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. Clear them all. Look at this. Overgrown and all. You're done here. Move along. I was on my way anyway, thank you very much. No one got manners no more. Not even church folk. All clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Hello, Churchyard's there, closed. Get out. My, my. I guess I'll come back later then. Run along. Hey, look, we're closed for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard! Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you back to... <clears throat> You go. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this. Uh... Exhumation.
Churchyard's closed. Get out. <laughs> my, my. I guess I'll come back later then. Quick as you can. Churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you back. Uh. You're gonna get a whooping. Uh. You're gonna get it. Uh. 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 Who's talking now? Huh? Ah, uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. 
That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Were you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Time to go, boy.
Shutter, don't you? Oh my! Oh, look who it is! I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Oh, uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble, now was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah. What we got here? Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Okay, fella. Has anyone seen Gavin? Morning, dear. Listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. The English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad.
Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Everybody and everywhere there's trouble. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Hell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Yeah. The old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but... Perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Whoa! Oh, no. Whoa! Yeah! Hey! 
Jets here. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. That's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs, looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs, available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus. Uh -huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Hey. Easy, Easy now. now. Easy. It's okay. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here, I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Look out ahead! They're coming out of the fields! <laughs> Get going, you two! I'll what watch the hell the you doing? Stop! Stop! What the hell with you? Oops. 
Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Come on now. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that so sure pop I'm Clay Davies that's my brother Clive we're twins John Arthur Javier <clears throat> so what are you Cuban no I don't like Cubans that's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. 
but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. 